Hello everybody, welcome back to your channel Echo Engineering again. In this video we are going to talk about a very common strategy named MACD. MACD stands for Moving Average Convergent Divergence. Uh, and then uh, we are going to backtest it. This video has two sections. First section, as I, will, as I told you, uh, I explained the strategy. In the second section, uh, we backtest it together and then we use optimization to maximize our profit uh, with this strategy and then in the next video which i leave you the link to that in the description uh, i explained the code in mql5 step by step how i wrote the code how i programmed this uh, trading strategy and you can find the link to download this code in the descriptions of that video too having said that the main focus of our channel is on algorithmic trading please do not forget to watch uh, the complete tutorial for uh, algorithmic trading, which I leave you at the top of this video. If this is your first time watching our channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button so YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics too. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this video and stay with me to the end. Uh, so how does this strategy works? First of all, you have to at the MACD indicator in your chart. To do so, you should go to the insert indicator and from the uh, oscillator, go to MACD and click on it. Then you have the parameter of the MACD. The first one is fast exponential moving average, which here it is 12, and then slow exponential moving average, which is 26, and then MACD single moving average, which is 9, and MACD single moving average is our signal. Uh, I don't add it, I just close it because I already added. it. Uh, what is MACD? First, MACD has two uh, sections. The first one is histogram, which is the blue one, and then signal line, which is the green one. We explain both of them. What is the histogram? Histogram is actually the difference between these two moving averages. It is the subtraction between fast and slow moving averages. Uh, when exponential moving averages with the period of 12 is greater than the uh, moving average slow which it's moving its period is 26 then histogram is positive when the fast moving average is below the slow moving average the histogram is negative so the, the histogram is just it's only the subtraction between these two moving averages so now that we have all histograms for all candles uh, then the third parameter of the MACD which is 9 and it is for single moving average is actually the moving average of uh, these uh, histogram bars so when it is 9 it means when uh, when the uh, when the third parameter is 9 moving average uh, MACD uh, third parameter is 9 it means go and calculate the moving average, simple moving average for the past nine uh, bars in the histogram. So this is what we are seeing. The histograms is the subtractions between fast moving average and slow moving average. And the signal is uh, the mean of the past nine uh, candles. But if we change the parameter to 12, it just go and calculate the mean for uh, past 12. Uh, bars. This is how MACD is calculated. But how this strategy works? This strategy is based on the only uh, histograms and these signal lines. When both histogram and signal lines, it means the blue one and the green one, are above zero and they are positive, then we are only allowed to open a buy order. When the both of them are under uh, zero and they are negative below zero then we are only allowed to open a sell orders when we are in the positive areas and the histogram crosses the green one which is a signal line from below to above then we open a buy order for example here in this candle the green one is uh, uh, greater than the yellow the, the blue one but in the next candle the blue one is greater than the green one so we open a buy order all here in this candle here the green one is above the blue one but here the blue one is above the green one so we open a buy order again 
and vice versa when we are in the negative side and uh, the the blue one the histogram crosses the green one to the down then we open a cell order for example in this point here uh, for this candle the blue one is greater than the green one but for the next candle the green one the histogram is below the green one so we open a cell order this is how the strategy works now we backtest it to backtest it from uh, to from view we add strategy tester and the strategy tester will be added again uh, strategy tester it's here this is the strategy tester just from the view add the strategy tester i click on overview i go for optim complete optimization i want to find the best combinations of the inputs so we would have the best performance of this strategy uh, in the expert i add macd strategy the symbol your usd uh, all of them are defined here but first we go to the input section and parameterize the inputs to do the optimization so these are the inputs for this strategy if i uh, go to the metacode language editor and check the code that i wrote for uh, MACD, I can see that these inputs are exactly the inputs that I define in the code. I will give you the code in the next video, which is uh, the descriptions for the code. So these inputs are defined already there, which is the moving, uh, fast moving, exponential moving average period, slow period, a signal simple moving average period, risk person, risk to reward, and time frames. I want to check fast moving average, slow moving average, signal moving average, risk to reward, and time frame but how we define them this is the start this is the stop and this is the step these columns are important uh, for fast exponential moving average i want to check it for from uh, for example uh, 9 to oh, 15 or i can just go one more back from for example 7 and i want to have three steps uh, it would be three or i can change it even to two uh, we can change them later too and for fast moving average i want to check from 20 period 20 to for example period uh, 32 and the steps can be three for example then for slow wing average from five to 12 and I want to do it with two, for example. The steps for the first one would be five. It has five intervals. Second one has five intervals too. And the third one is four intervals. If you have more powerful uh, CPU uh, or have more time, I uh, suggest to decrease these steps so you can check more combinations. And uh, for risk to reward, I want to start from two and I want to finish it to three. Each step should be one. And then time frames, I prefer it to start from uh, 30 to 12 hours time frame. And the whole combinations that this strategy will check for this variable would be 1600. It means it checks this strategy for 1,600 times and compare the results and return as the combinations that has the best performance. From setting, I want to have maximum balance. And here, if I press start, it start to backtest them for all these combinations. So first, it, for example, check it for 7, 25, uh, two and in a 30 minute time frame that it keep all of them the same just change the time uh, the time frame and then again change the time frame and then for example at the end of at the end it check it for uh fast exponential moving average 15 32 12 and then 3 and time frame 12 hour it checks it for all of them here for example it has already started the green ones are actually the profitable backtest the red ones are 
the, the, the back tests that were not profitable and we lost money there. I fast forward the video and when it is finished, I will be back to you. So this optimization uh, back test is over. It took me around one hour and eight minutes to back test all 1,600 combinations. I suggest you to decrease the steps and, uh, the, and uh, de again decrease the start and increase the stops of these uh, variables, inputs to back test and check more combinations. Uh, the most profitable one was this one, which is in this case the fast exponential moving average period is 15, slow exponential moving average period is 23, signal uh, signal single moving average period is 5, and risk to reward is 3, and back test is in 30 minute time frame. So let's back test it for this combination and see the results to see that how much we would gain, which should be around 18%. Uh, 15, 235. Uh, uh, in the overview section, in the signal, click on it to just back test this strategy once. We want to back test this moving average strategy for the EMS, for the Euro USD, and I want to back test it in the 30 minute time frame. Uh, the start of back test would be this date and the end of the back test would be this day two. Uh, I want to visualize it, then go back to the input because we uh, clicked on single and not complete optimization. In the input section, only the column of value would be on. And for us, based on the optimization, 15, 23, 5. Uh, 15, 23. Five risk percent only uh, one percent risk to reward time here it was thirty minute time frame and risk to reward was three. If I press start in the setting section, then it starts back test. So the back test window is open, and we can see that the uh, uh, expert advisor is doing its trades. It's over, and we can see that it gained 18 percent, 18.3 percent gain, and the balance increased. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget again to hit the like button if you liked it, because in this case, YouTube algorithm. Uh, introduce us to those who are interested in the subject and leave me a comment if you have any suggestion for upcoming videos. Uh, I just suggest you again to uh, backtest this strategy for more combinations of this variable so you would backtest it for uh, you would have the results for more than 1600 uh, backtests. Have a good day, goodbye.